From your Chapter 17 folder, open the file Chapter 1703 Detailing in 3D. The important thing about detailing in 3D is that you actually lock the orientation of the view before you start adding any additional information. The reason for that is that if somebody starts spinning the model around, any of the detail elements that you've added to this view, whether they're additional lines or text, will then be thrown out of context. As we can see from this view, Level 3 Detail, the view has had its orientation locked. That means that the view cube won't work. And if you want to change the orientation before we get started, what we can do is unlock this view. The view cube is now active. And we can reposition the model so that we can get the best use out of it. Then save the orientation and lock the view. Now that the orientation has been locked, we can start adding detail into this view, like tagging elements. Let's go through and tag the diffusers, whether we use leaders, or just place the tags. I'm already thinking that the scale might be a bit too detailed for this particular view, so let's change it to 1 to 50. One of the other tools that we can use as part of our detailing is to use the new tool for displacing elements. Here I can create a selection set by selecting some duct elements either with a selection window or by highlighting one element and then using the tab button to select. What we need to do however is remove any tags. Then from the view panel in the Modify tab, we can use the Displace Elements tool. Click and drag. You can see in this view that I've actually missed one section of duct. That's not the end of the world. From the view control bar, we can highlight displacement sets. Selecting the displacement set, we can edit the set and then add additional elements to it. Click on Finish when done. With the set selected, we can now add a path which creates projection lines from the originating elements. Here, I've created straight paths. But what happens if we select our displacement set and actually move it vertically as well? Suddenly, this isn't looking that pretty at all. So what we can do with our lines, with our displacement paths, is from the Properties palette, select the style. Currently it's set to straight. Let's change it to jogged. And change it for the other lines as well. That's much better. We don't have to do them individually either. We can create a selection window. Filter the results for displacement paths and then change them as one. The whole point of this is to make your deliverables, your documentation, much clearer to understand.